Alright guys, so uh, in uh, today's uh, video we will take a look at uh, current meters. Now, uh, um, you can have two types. You can have uh, digital or analog. Uh, both of them are pretty effective. Uh, but the only problem with them is price. Now, uh, these are... I wouldn't say they are cheap. Uh, this one, like you can get uh, good analog current meters for uh, cheap on eBay or uh, wherever you're buying your parts from. But uh, uh, yeah, you know, they are still um, pretty big, you know, in terms of size. And if you buy a cheap one like this, they are pretty inaccurate. So I'm going to show you a way how you can make a really accurate current meter for really cheap. Right guys, so uh, as you can see, uh, this is uh, the current meter I made. Uh, really simple, uh, just a simple uh, project box, okay, with battery inside and there's our uh, screen right here. So we have a, a positive terminal and a negative terminal and a switch. And that's about it. Uh, in the real life, uh, the screen does not flicker, it's only on camera. Alright, so, uh, so how do you make one? and uh, how it works well really simple really simple design uh, basic electronics all right so w what we have here is uh, we have our uh, our volt meter okay and it's a special kind uh, it has a positive and a negative terminal uh, or a negative and positive rather and it has a sense wire. Now uh, the sense wire only measures voltage above negative. So that's why it's important you hook up your negative to the negative of your circuit. All right. So what we're going to do is I will show you a real uh, quick uh, uh, the schematic how uh, the meter is actually set up. And then you can see for yourself uh, how easy it is. Now. Uh, there's a part I added edit myself uh, to here because I had a problem with the a screen. I added a capacitor here. Okay, it's a electrolytic capacitor, and I will show you that one uh, in a second. All right, so there's a switch uh, on uh, our positive side. Okay, but uh, that's a little bit uh, way. Oh, actually, I'm just gonna try it now. Okay, so there's, uh, I have a uh, 6 volt uh, battery uh, right here, okay, and uh, what we do here is uh, we take our uh, negative here, and uh, we have our two uh, terminals coming in, so our uh, uh, negative and our uh, positive, okay, so we have our negative uh, getting connected directly to uh, negative of the battery is getting connected directly to this uh, negative um, um, output or input, whatever you want to call it. So this is uh, pr pretty much a banana plug uh, socket. Okay. Now uh, what we have here is we just have a power uh, resistor, uh, nothing uh, fancy. So one uh, ohm, five watts. Nothing fancy, okay. <clears throat> and uh, the last uh, thing uh, there's to this current meter is all we have to do is get our sense wire connected there. That's all there's to it. That's really all there's to it. And I will show you all the parts we need to make this guy. So you'll need a project box uh, just like this one, you know. Uh, just a simple project box you can get five of them for uh, four bucks on ebay canadian uh us uh, it's gonna be a little bit uh, less but uh you know what i mean right so you need a box okay uh you will obviously need a uh, one of these uh, three wire um a little um voltmeters now you'll need also a one ohm uh resistor okay one ohm, five watts, not nothing fancy. Okay, you'll need a switch. Okay, you'll need a switch. You'll need your two um, uh, banana plug um, 
connectors and uh, capacitor which is an optional one, right so uh, this thing goes here and you need a battery okay you'll need a battery I'm using a rechargeable battery high capacity so this one's about 1000 uh, milliamp hours so this should give me decent uh, time without charging this uh, poppy so um, yeah Alright guys, so uh, we have successfully finished the build and uh, as you can see, we got two of them working. Alright now. Right guys, so uh, as you can see, we have our uh, current meter that we have made hooked up. And um, what we have here is a motor uh, from a car that, uh, let's see, for power windows okay so uh, what we have here is it will show uh, the current so I will turn on my power supply it's a little bit noisy so just uh, yeah sorry for that so uh, as you can see here uh, just gonna turn off my light um, we have uh, 0.48 amps going through the motor it's not spinning I will tell you when it does okay so now it starts to spin okay so as you can see, it's spinning really slowly, and then I'm gonna. Okay, so this is full throttle. This is full uh, voltage. Okay. So that's one, and I will show you uh, the other one that it's also accurate. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the one I made uh, previously before uh, this video. Okay. So, so same thing same thing and uh, works uh, really well so I'm putting the voltage down as you can see it just drops significantly okay all right guys so well uh, the answer is we would show the same value if they are connected in series uh, that's a really good um, question actually so I'm going to connect the uh, positive here this one to the negative of that one okay
Okay, so that's type of accuracy there is to these guys. So it all depends on your uh, resistor, right? So now they are connected in series. Okay, so as you can see, they are pretty accurate and uh, pretty easy to use. If you put them in parallel, they will show uh, twice as less current as they would now. Okay guys, so uh, today we have made two wonderful uh, uh, amp meters, okay, uh, which are pretty accurate. Uh, a little uh, warning uh, right here uh, due to the fact that we are actually using one ohm resistance at one amp we get actually one volt drop so if you're inputting 12 volts one amp you'll actually get 11 volts one amp on the output so keep that in mind uh, don't uh, push like 10 amps through this thing uh, it, it will heat up and uh, most likely you're, you'll, you, you're gonna melt uh, the little casing here so uh, it's it's for lower uh, power applications so uh, that's about it for today uh, please don't forget to like my video and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more peace